just want to do this all over again. The struggle is real. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina, and today we are going to be doing a try on swimsuit haul. I have swimsuits, swimsuits from Forever 21, Pretty Little Thing, Zaful, and I will be giving my true opinions about Zaful at the end of this video, you guys. And, um, Zaful Forever 21. Oh, and this company called um, Olive Oil. Olive Oil? I think it's called Olive Oil. Olive Oil? I don't. I don't remember what it's called. I feel like it's called Olive Oil, but it may not be called Olive Oil. It's a store. I know it's here in the DMV, and it's like a store where you can just get like we can get like Fashion Nova ish type clothes for the quick. Like if I didn't have time to order anything off Fashion Nova, I would go in there and try to grab something real quick. Let's go on and jump into the haul. First up, I'm going to talk about the video that I got from Forever 21. This bathing suit right here is in a rose gold metallic color. I got it in a size small. I'm actually in love with this bathing suit because I feel like it's a family friendly bathing suit that I can wear out with like my stepbrothers, my mom, my family, and not like I'm a little too exposed this summer. It does come high up on the hip region though, but just a little bit, not too much. And in the back, it gives you some nice back action with the X's it has right here. And it comes down slightly low in the front area. I bought this one from Forever 21 when I was in Atlanta. And just because of the price tags on it, I can tell you exactly how much it cost me. It cost me $24.90. Next up, I'm going to tell you guys about the bathing suit that I bought from um, Pretty Little Thing. I even seen this bathing suit on Kylie or Kim. I absolutely fell in love with it. I was like, uh, Shorty Love needs that bathing suit. So I got two of these actually, but from two different companies. Yeah. This is the one that I got from Pretty Little Thing where it gives you some nice side boobage. It's going to come up real nice on the hip and it's going to show all your midriff area in the front and in the back. This one has X's in the back and obviously it's in a black and white color. Um, when I ordered this bathing suit thing, they were having a 50% off sale, which they're having one right now too as well. And it was $35, but because I got it for 50% off, it ended up being $17.50. And the only problem that I, well there are two problems that I have. I have one problem with the company and one with this bathing suit. So the one problem that I have with the company is the fact that I had ordered a size 2 in this. And on their website, I think it said that it broke down to be like an extra small or a 2x small and um in America size it's sort of been an extra extra small not in tiny but I'm not that damn tiny um but when I looked at it, I was like oh I ordered my prom dress in a 3x small so it should be fine because my prom dress still fits me to this day so I was like all right cool I'll order in that but then they end up sending me a size 6 um and they end up sending me a size 6 and when I got it I was really upset I was like oh no it's a size 6 it's not going to fit but then I checked on the website and they said that the size 6 I think was just a regular extra no it was just a, it was just a small um, on the website so I tried it on and it fits fine so even though the company did not send me the size that I asked for I guess I'm a little it's a little blessing that it did that for, but I just don't know if that's something that they do all the time. If you've ordered anything from Pretty Little Thing um, and you've had this experience, let me know because I want to order more things, but I don't want to order a small and you send me a medium. Like, I'm a tiny girl. I don't need you to be sending me mediums, which <laughs> brings us on to another point, but we'll get there later. We'll get there later, you guys. And then my other problem that I have with this bathing suit is that um, this top is white. And we all know if you put on a white top with no actual real material behind it, like there's nothing here. There's nothing here to keep my my nips from being exposed. So if I was to wear this bathing suit, which I, I am going to wear it because I really like it, I'm going to have to wear like some pasties or something like that up under it so my nipples won't be all out there. But there's nothing back here to protect you from your nipples to be shown like this little fabric right here is that supposed to help my nipples from being seen in this white top like no once it gets wet it's over with so yeah that's that let's go on to a Zaffle bathing suit which is the exact same as the black one but I dare say maybe it made a little bit better so this is the bathing suit that I got from Zaffle but it's in the blue color now originally when I seen the bathing suit 
on pill thing i really wanted the blue one because i felt like the blue one would look better on my skin tone but i ended up buying the black one too because i mean i was going to buy both of them but they didn't have they were sold out of this blue one so i was like oh no it has to be somewhere else like i know so somewhere somewhere else someone has remade it and i was right zafu has remade this bathing suit the difference between it is that it has a little holes right here on the side and the back is not crisscross it kind of just like goes straight across and a plus for me because i'm itty bitty titty committee is that it has pads in it and i'm not mad at the pads i know i watched a couple reviews on these bathing suits and people were saying that they didn't like the pads in the bathing suits because they were just like big dumb ugly pads but tell you the truth i'm not mad at these pads and plus why i say it's made better than the pretty little sink bathing suit is because it has extra coverage right here so even if i was to get wet in this my nipples would not be showing um not not talking about the padding part the padding part is kind of like free and wild out here but you can easily just like stitch this part down which i think i'm going to do and then suit off of a pretty little thing was 1749 right here and i got it in a size small Next up, let's do my one from Olive Oil. Let's do that one because this one's a little, a little risque, but I really liked it. I like the color and everything. All right, so this is the top for the one that I got at Olive Oil. It uh, has adjustable straps, which is good. This part right here, when I first tried this thing on, I did not know how to do it. I still don't know. Like, I don't know how they want me to to do this. I, I don't like it. I just don't like. Ugh, I don't understand. Oh my god! Like, how does this work? How does this even work? Like, there we go. There we go. Like that. And then it also has paddings in it which i am a fan of because itty bitty titty committee it is one of those baby suits that are going to give you those weird tan lines but i mean hey where you're cute you're cute these are the bottoms yeah the bottoms are very risque because as you can see all of this is out all of this is out like it's very cheeky the cheeks are the cheeks are out okay it's very very cheeky your sides are out so if you're wearing this one i would just you know be brave and just step out and know that you are a bad thing that's doing it okay okay i really i really do like this bathing suit though like i like it i don't know i mean it's a little it's a little much for family theme parks or anything like that but if you're going somewhere with your girls or you're going on a vacation or you're hanging out with your friends I think it's fine pool parties whatever just you know anybody 18 years or under i wouldn't wear it around them all right so let's go into my business that i got from fashion lenova i don't know so i don't know what it is about my obsession this year with wanting to have a knit bathing suit but i kept seeing these knitted bathing suits i've been seeing knitted bathing suits honestly for maybe three or four years and i really really wanted one but I'm here to tell you guys, that now that I finally got a knitted bathing suit, I wish I never wasted my money on it, even though it is from Fashion Nova. And you know, Fashion Nova is supposed to be us girls, holy grail, but I am not happy with this bathing suit, even just a little bit. Even a little bit. So this is the top. Right here. I mean, you guys are going to see me try it on, but... This is the top, it's knitted and it's nude. The top is cool because you know, you can tie it on the back for as tight as you want and tie it around the neck for as tight as you want. So, I mean, I have no complaints about the top even though this fabric right here, once again, I feel like it's too thin for when I jump in that pool and my nips come through and I'm out walking around, I'm pretty sure my nips are gonna be showing. So this is another one that I would wear like pasties or something like that up under this just to you know give me extra nipple coverage they're very cheeky as you can tell um my only problem with these bottoms is that they're too big for me and i did order a small and on fashion over they didn't have these in an extra small um i am always conscious when i order things off of fashion over just because they 
I feel like they cater more to a curvier person other than me. So I, sh I, I should have probably not ordered this bathing suit. But I really, really had liked it on. So I was like, oh yeah, let me order it. Um, I want to take it to the cleaners to see if they could like alter it because it's not like an actual like bathing suit bathing suit it's like a uh because it's knitted so i feel like they might just be able to undo this seam here and you know make it a little bit smaller for me so that i could wear it maybe but if they can't then i honestly and truthfully don't see myself wearing this bathing suit just because it's super soggy on the butt as you guys can see i'm not I'm, I'm honestly not happy with this this bathing suit at all. It's one of the first and only things that I've ever bought at Fashion Nova that I've not been happy about my purchase. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's no one bats 100, but, yeah, this bathing suit right here was $29. And, yeah, just go. Just go. I ordered off of Zappo. I ordered uh, this royal blue bikini i wanted to order a bathing suit um in my boyfriend's favorite color because you know i'm cute like that and i wanted to do something you know cute for him so he'd be like oh babe you thought about me yeah, whatever so i ordered this blue bathing suit right here is it inside out is it not i don't know i can't tell which one's the inside and which one isn't I ordered this blue bathing suit right here in a small as you can see the top is a little too big for me I don't know if I should pull it all the way down and get a little bit more cleavage or, um, or pull it pull it up I don't know the part that makes me feel like it's too big is these little string things right here which is another reason another one of those things that you know give you weird tan lines I don't know if it's that that makes me feel like it's too big or if the sides kind of stick up too much it doesn't feel like it's hugging on the boobs very well but I mean, overall, the color is good and it's made good, so I mean, that part I'm fine with. Um, yeah, it has pads in it, in the boob cup. The pads are okay with me because I appreciate having pads in my bras, I mean, in my bathing suit, so, you know, that is what it is. The bottom is a spaghetti bottom. It's a very cheeky bottom, which... I'm cool with the bottoms actually fit really really well for me better than the top better than the top and I mean it's made pretty well the material on all the bathing suits from Zafu do feel really good I mean it feels like you know pretty good it feels like pretty pretty averagely made bathing suit stuff like it doesn't feel like any like expensive bathing suit that i bought before but it smells it feels really good for a bathing suit that i bought for i think this one was 17.95 let me find out this one was 15.99 so for a bathing suit that i bought a top and a bottom with for 15.99 it doesn't feel that bad i mean feels good i don't know what to do with this tag i'm probably just going to end up cutting this out because like it doesn't want it, it keeps sticking up but i mean it's a tag i can cut it off and i'm not i'm not tripping off of the tag you guys it's a bathing suit you guys i honestly have uh this is where me and zaffel becoming a beef but we'll talk about that after this so i ordered this red bathing suit right here i this bathing suit right here is actually what made me go ahead and place my order with Zaffle. I seen um I seen um a YouTuber on here and she was sponsored by Zaffle to do a Zaffle video, not saying anything about her. She just probably got better stuff than I did, probably got better customer service than I did. I mean she does have a bigger following than I do. So I understand why Zaffa would do that because it was watching her video that made me want to buy the, actually this exact bathing suit because I wanted a red bathing suit. Red is my favorite color so I was trying to be cute. I was like yes this red's popping. I love it. It's gorgeous. Let's do it. So I ordered this red bathing suit in a small. The straps are adjustable which I like. The sides are a little bit too big on the boobage area right here for my liking, but I'll tell you guys why in a second. Um, yeah, the, the top's good made. It's a triangle top. It's supposed to be sisters with the blue one, but they're not quite sisters because the blue one doesn't have the adjustable straps like this one does. 
The bottom is a spaghetti strap bottom like this. The back like this. A very cheeky bathing suit. Maybe a little risky, but I really, really like this bathing suit. Um, the bottoms don't fit as well as I would like them to fit, but you know, it's not to the point where it's like I'm crying. They're too big. Like, they're fine. They fit fine. They stay up on my hips. The only problem is with this, I ordered a small and I got a medium. The red one was $12.49. That is the end of my swimsuit haul. Now, here is what some of you guys may be here for. The tea on Zaffle and my problems. For the quality, I would expect to pay a little bit more for the quality. I mean, it's not great quality, but it is good quality. So, as I just told you guys, I ordered my red bathing suit in a small and I got a medium. Now, I know I ordered it in a small because I remember ordering small, 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 extra small, small because I ordered some other things. That's where the extra small comes in, but that doesn't really matter right now. Um, so, I, re I remember doing that. Um, and when I got it, um, I looked at it and I was like, crap. I got a medium so I wrote the company about the return policy to see if we can exchange this I would expect to pay a little bit more for the quality I mean it's not great quality but it is good quality so as I just told you guys I ordered my red bathing suit in a small and I got a medium now I know I ordered it in a small because I remember ordering small 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 extra small small because I ordered some other things that's where the extra small comes in but that doesn't really matter right now um so I were I remember doing that um, and when I got it um, I looked at it and I was like crap I got a medium so I wrote the company about the return policy to see if we can exchange this and see if I could change this medium for a small because I bought this bathing suit for a trip of course wrote them on a Sunday and on the website it says you know that it normally takes about 24 hours for someone to reply to you now in my mind I had already knew it was going to take longer than 24 hours because I hit them up on a Sunday and it was also the Sunday right before 4th of July so in my head I'm thinking it's going to take them a little bit longer because this is a holiday. It was a holiday for us, no, nevertheless. So in my mind, I had already had that mindset that their offices were closed. It was going to take a little bit longer. Now, I wasn't expecting four days longer, but it took them four days. And when I finally got my email from Zaffle, they sent me a blank email. Literally saying nothing. So that's what they sent me on July 1st, saying absolutely nothing nothing a blank email regarding my return and how I can exchange this bathing suit so at this point you guys I'm a little hot I've waited all this time for them to reply to me because everybody's having such these great Zaffle experiences the bathing suits are amazing blah 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 and it wasn't amazing my, my experience right now is a little frustrating so I go on their website and they actually have live chatting. Now, unfortunately, live chatting couldn't really help me that much because live chatting is only for um, for something else. It isn't really regard. It, it doesn't really talk. They don't really want to talk to you in the live chatting about exchanging and refunds. But honestly, at that point, I was like, whatever. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm just gonna hit these people up and ask them. Now, before I had did this, I had. I said to myself, Christine, the baby suit's only $12.49. Like, I'm not tripping. Um, I'll just order another bathing suit in a small and I'll just take the $12 loss. Because even, um, it's cheaper than buying a bathing suit for anywhere else. Or if I was to buy a bathing suit from, like, Target or something like that, it would be about the same price. Even though this year, you guys, aren't the bathing suits, like, a little pricey in Target? No? Just me? Okay maybe um but yeah so i was like whatever it's fine i'll order another one ordered another one and i ordered it with that blue bathing suit in a small and i ordered it with my red bathing suit in a small and i remember seeing small small okay cool because i remember i was on the phone with my best friend and i'm like all right i just ordered another bathing suit small small she says son small small i said yeah small small i placed the order and i got it and before I contact live support, I'm sitting there 
and I, something told me to check the order and again it said medium small not the two bathing suits that I ordered the blue one small one bathing suit I really 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 I placed this order and I spent this money on all these things but I really just wanted this one thing you know when you do online shopping and you really just want one thing the most and then everything else is kind of like a bonus that's how everything else was for me I ordered all of these things and then that one it just it, it really just pissed me off so when I got it when I checked it on the website on the app and it said medium small that's when I was pissed to the max after getting my blank email and after seeing that they're sending me another medium bathing suit this is when I hit up life support so I hit up life support and I'm telling them hey I ordered a small bathing suit and I am now getting a medium the guy says oh I'm so sorry to hear that um this isn't really to talk about like exchanges or anything like that but what's your order number I give him my order number and he tells me unfortunately but on our side it looks like you ordered a medium so they were sneaky enough to go into the order and change it on the order and said that I ordered a medium I told him I said no I did not order a medium I had already ordered this bathing suit once before in a medium I reached out to your support team asked them how I could exchange it they sent me a blank email and never got back to me about how returns work he says to me well this has never happened to us before so I don't know what's going on on our side it says that you ordered a medium and unfortunately you ordered a medium I said, okay, well, how do I return this medium and get a small? And at that point, it went silent. He was no longer saying anything else to me. And if you've ever done a live chat before with a company and um, you're no longer responding, um, it starts to ask you, are you still there and do you want to chat with the person? And I'm saying, yes, I do. And then I kept writing him and I kept writing him and... He no, he's no longer responding to me and it says um, we haven't heard from you if for some time do you want to continue chatting I say back yes and I said can you just send me the small and I'll send you back the medium and at this point the the, the chat exit is, it says um, it brings up the survey of how your your experience was with chatting the person so he ended the chat he ended the group chat, not the group chat, I'm sorry. He ended the live chat that we, I was having with him. And I ended it up. So he ended the chat that I was having with him because he stopped responding and then I guess he exited out. I don't know how it works on their side. I honestly, I don't know. All I know is that I had continued to, I was continuing to writing him. I was writing him and he stopped responding to me because they didn't want to fix my problem. And he was basically telling me that I ordered a medium. Like, I feel like he was telling me, oh, I ordered a medium and you have to deal with it. So, when I got my second red bathing suit in the mail, which is right here, they sent it to me again in a fucking medium. Now, I already have one in the medium, so I don't need... I'm, I didn't even take this one out of the bag because I have no interest in it. Um, I would like to return it and get my $12 back, but at the end of the day, I'm honestly not tripping. So, what I am going to do with this red bathing suit um, is that if any of you guys are medium out there and you like it, just hit me up in my DMs on um, IG and uh, we can discuss something versus there. But it is going to be first come, first serve. Whoever wants this medium bathing suit, um, yeah, we can talk about something there my instagram name is right here overall my experience with zaffo just because of this one thing honestly i will never be ordering anything else from there i personally don't want to say that this is a scam because i did get my items it did take a long time but i mean i did get my items and um i'm just a not i'm just not a happy customer this this one thing has honestly made me never want to order anything else from Zaffle again I so when it comes to Zaffle I, I don't want to say that it's a scam but I will say that they're sneaky because 
isn't a good way to do anything and I mean of course I didn't say to them about anything um about me recording a video or anything like that because it isn't worth the time for them like my viewers aren't that my viewers aren't aren't enough to be like hey I am going to record a video and I'm going to tell them what I thought I just decided that I was just going to record the video and let you guys know what really happened to someone that spent their honest money to try and buy something from them and I mean this is what happened I know I didn't order two, two mediums I know I ordered two smalls and they were sneaky enough to try and basically try and play me to I guess to just try their hand because I honestly feel like because on their side now that everything says medium I mean I don't it, it's just honestly frustrating you guys I I don't even know what to say I will not be ordering anything else from Zaffle I this is the first and only time you guys will be ever seeing me talk about Zaffle that's the end of this video you guys I'm sorry towards the end it probably wasn't as cheerful or anything like that from what you wanted to hear but I did wanted to get it out there and me and my boyfriend are talking about recording uh, a blog a vlog together because we're going out of the country and if you guys are interested in seeing me and my boyfriend together um just let me down let me know down in the comments but until next time I will see you all in my next video bye